Hi guys, in today's video we're going to show you four different ways to get out of fan position. You might make your social dancing skills look a little bit more snazzy on that dance floor. Our names are Simeon and Cora, owners of Aria Ballroom and authors of SK Dance Floor, and we're ready to show you the four exits of fan position. Fan position is a very popular position to be in when you dance cha-cha and rumba. It's also a beautiful position. The lady looks nice, the man looks nice. But a lot of times, if you're doing social dancing, you may not know exactly what you can do out of fan position. Alamana. Let's take a look at how we do the alamana. I've done the fan, I've stepped to the side. I'm gonna step forward slightly toward the lady. Forward, I replace my weight and I close my feet. Then I step backward as I start to turn the lady. I can step together, I can step to the side. It really depends on how much turn I want to make. And in this step here, I could be forward. I could even go together if I wanted to. Maybe a small step forward so I don't get too far ahead of the lady, the next, the next step is going to be difficult if I do that. And just to show you how to turn the lady, yeah, so the first thing is I raise my hand as I close my feet and then here I'm going to do a little circle. First I'm going to turn her and then I'm going to do a circle around her head. She walks, a circle, I let her walk forward so I don't want to pull her back, let her walk forward, I turn her and then I pull her slightly toward me. That's very important that the arm not to pull the lady over. You want to walk on the foot, then turn her. She walks on the next foot, then turn her. For the ladies part, there's actually a couple of different techniques, so I'll quickly go over both of them as I describe the foot action. From our fan position, our number one rule for fan is that we always close our feet. So I'm going to close my feet on the two and switch onto my right foot. Then I'm going to walk straight forward on three, walk straight forward on four, hold, one. So this is the same no matter what technique of alamana you use. Now the first one is the simpler technique. So the man's going to give us a turn and we want to make sure that we bring the feet underneath us. Now what makes an alamana different from an underarm turn is the shape that our feet make on the floor. So an alamana is a triangle turn. So we're going to step forward towards the man. Now this is the most important thing and I always suggest if you haven't practiced alamana very much, start with this technique. You're going to make half a turn so exactly half a turn. Walk away from the man. Don't overturn it. This is very common to overturn and walk this direction. We actually want to walk away from the man. Now the man is going to give us just a slight non-violent tug that will turn us back towards him and then we walk forward towards the man again. The more advanced technique of an alamana also has what's called a plat action in the middle of the alamana. So, we start exactly the same from our fan. So we close on two and switch. We walk forward on three, walk forward on four, hold one. The man turns us exactly the same. There's nothing that the man can do to lead the difference in technique. It's up to the ladies to do it themselves. So the lady is gonna step forward towards the man just like in the first version. But as she rotates, she's gonna swivel the foot in and back out again. Now this is much more advanced, first of all, because you need to be able to dance a good plot action. But secondly, you need to be able to control the amount of turn on your standing leg as you're doing that turn. So if I demonstrate that again, she goes forward, swivel, forward, still away from the man again. He gives us a rotation and we walk towards him just like before. Hockey, Hockey stick! stick. push to close her feet and then I pull her out as I replace my weight. I close my feet as she steps forward 
And then since I was a kid, I remember this, we're looking through the window at your partner. So you don't want to be too far away. You want, don't want your partner to be past you. So she's just slightly in front and to my left. Yeah, so you can see her through this window. Now this is a very important step here. If I step too far back, I'm gonna be in trouble. Yeah, so what I do is I step, take a small step back, then I walk slightly forward, maybe slip it a little bit, depending on how far the lady is, turn her, and then we go forward. Yeah, so I'll show you one more time. And talk about the hand. So I close her feet, as I pull her out, I bring her in front of me. Notice my hand, if you compare it to the Almana, my hand is in a totally different position. She, she already knows she's gonna be doing a turn to her left, instead of in the Almana, turning to the right. And a good way to think of it, uh, I thought this was, this was pretty cool, again, as, as a kid, I was taught this, if the thumb was down, doing a hockey stick, that's gladiator dies, thumb down. Versus Alamana, the thumb is up, gladiator lives. You know, so that's a good way to think of it, especially for, for while you're learning it. So anyway, my thumb is down, so gladiator dies. I take a small step back. I keep my hand in front, so I'm really reaching. I replace my weight. I'm really reaching. The hand goes over the top of the lady, in front of her face, but I haven't turned her yet. And then when she arrives on her right foot, I pull to give her the half turn that she needs and then we're reconnected. For the ladies, it's important to keep in mind the shape of a hockey stick, which is actually what lends this figure its name. So a hockey stick is a stick with a bend in it. But most importantly, the bend doesn't happen in the middle of the stick, it happens near the end of the stick. So there's one piece of the stick, the handle, that's the long part, and then there's the side of it that hits the puck around, that's the shorter part. Well, our hockey stick looks like that as well. So we are going to go in a straight line for two, three, four, one, two. Then we curve an eighth of a turn for the last two steps, three with the rotation and four hold one. But wait a second, doesn't it say to curve on count two? Actually, Simeon's right. In the technique book, it does say to curve on step two, but I don't like to dance it like that. And I don't like to dance it like that for a couple of reasons. The first reason is that I always find Students in general have a difficult time doing hockey stick without strangling each other. That's already dancing it the way that I just described it. If you dance it like it's described in the book, it's even worse. So I don't particularly prefer that version. The second reason why I don't like it is because my preference is always to do what makes the lady's legs look the most beautiful. And dancing a forward walk turning from step two into step three is always gonna be more beautiful than dancing that weird little swivel action. So I'll demonstrate. Obviously on count two, we're closing our feet like we do in out of every fan position. Two, walk, three, walk, four. Now at this point right now, the only indication that Simeon is giving me that I'm gonna do a hockey stick is this arm right here. So because we have a window, because Simeon is killing the gladiator, that tells me that we're going to be doing a hockey stick. But I'm not going to rotate yet. This is a problem that happens with a lot of ladies. They like to rotate early. Don't. You don't rotate until the man leads you. Another problem that a lot of ladies have is that they suddenly veer off. We've seen it veer off right there. You're going to get too far away from the man. We've seen this one go off this direction. Then you run into the man. We don't want to do either of those. We want to walk straight forward. So as we walk past him, we're going to walk straight forward on two. Now here's another place where hockey stick can go wrong because we want to make sure that you bring the arm in front of your face. This is actually the lady's responsibility. If the lady doesn't do the work to bring her arm in front of her face, there is nothing the guy can do to force it. And this is another very common thing. The lady starts to do her walk and she leaves it and then we get all tangled up right here, which is not a very comfortable position. So as I take my step on two, I'm already bringing my arm across. Now I'm going to veer off an eighth of a turn to my left to step across on three. And I actually, I always think about putting my hand down on my shoulder. Because now this makes sure that I'm ready for the man to leave me. He gives me a slight tug which turns me and then I can step back into the basic position. Two. Fencing. Close the ladies' 
feet, they all start the same way. I bring her back and I close my feet as I rise nice and high and I point my right foot to the side. This is just a styling option, it's not necessary. Then from here, I slide my right foot across. This is very much like a bolero step and I step across and I usually like to bring my hand in front. Okay? This is the one, one rare example in basic rumba where we flex the standing knees. A little bit unusual. And then back, step to the side. For ladies, we start our piece exactly the same as the other, uh, other exits of fan. We close our feet on count two. Walking forward on three. Walking forward on four. And then the man is gonna give us a little push with the hand that turns and points our foot to the side. Now from here, we are going to move the foot underneath our body and step into a lunge on the left foot. Now, like I said earlier, I always enjoy making my legs look as beautiful as possible. So, when I replace my weight onto my back foot, I'm not going to allow my back foot to bend. I'm just going to push strongly from my standing leg so that I arrive on the back foot, swivel to face the man, and step to the side on four, four, one. Three Alamanas. Now this is where it's a, a lot of guys have already stepped out on the one. So I, I make sure she turns first as I settle on the four one. Now she does the spiral on count two as I do my kukaracha two to the left. Then she walks forward as I do it to the right three. And then I close my feet four and one. And leaving the last alamana, which is the same as a one alamana, two and side to the, to the left and forward on the right foot to grab the lady in the close position. Man, your part is easy. I don't think so. Well, wait until you learn the girl's part. Three alamana is tough. <laughs> so, for the ladies, it's called three alamanas because we do three alamanas. We have a normal alamana, followed by a reverse alamana, followed by a normal alamana. So, I'll break this down for you. And again, I'm gonna specifically use the less advanced version of the alamana, not because I wanna simplify it for you, but because actually in three alamanas, I prefer to use the simpler version. Because it's such a complicated step, the simpler version, I believe, makes the legs look cleaner and longer and gives nicer lines. So, just like in all of our other fans, we close the feet on two, we step out on three, Walking straight forward because we don't know what the man's gonna leave yet. On four, hold one. And we're gonna dance the next alamana exactly the same as the other ones. So we have two, leave the foot, three, walk forward on four. Now you see that the man has done something different than what he normally would if he wanted to leave, let's say, a close hip twist action. So this already tells me it's going something different, and because he gives me a push, that tells me three alamana. Now, what I do with my feet, I'm going to actually dance this flat action to point out in front. Now, I've seen many girls like to bend their knee into this position, but again, my goal is always to make my legs look long, so I keep my legs straight. So I'm gonna keep my legs straight and reach my left arm up in the air like this. Now, the reverse Salamana. We do a triangle turn just like in the other ones. We're gonna step forward on the right foot, Pull the left foot up behind us to dance a spiral action. Yeah, you can try doing those guys. 
Now from here, we're gonna walk away from the man, just like in a normal alamana. He's gonna give us a little tug. We're gonna swivel to get to press action out on four. Hold one, transfer the full weight on hands. Now we get another normal alamana. Two, and three, and four, hold one. Exactly the same way. I go forward as she closes her feet. I pull her forward as I <laughs> replace my weight. Keep this hand down. Very important. Yeah. And then I'm gonna close my feet. Again, this is pretty normal for uh, for, for the other steps as well. And I'm gonna grab her with my right hand. Yeah. So this is this is kind of where it's different. Then I'm gonna take a small step back, a small step to the side, and tucking this hand behind a little bit. I step forward, okay? Now here, there's a lot of different hand holds. I can hold her, her uh, shoulder, you know, I can hold her arm. I'm just gonna let go. I like to let go. Two, three, I cross behind, and I do a kukaracha, yeah, or do the rock, and then I step forward, finishing close position, kind of like we did after the alma. Now sliding door is another one of those movements that is actually really beautiful for the lady, particularly because of the press action on the four hold one. So I'm going to describe the feet quickly with the man, and then I'm going to show the feet without the man so that you can practice them on your own. As with all other fans, we start by closing our feet on two. So we have close on two, walk on three, walk on four. Now because the man <clears throat> kept his hand down, I walk straight forward. But then, the moment that he grabs my hand like this, this tells me I'm not doing hockey stick anymore. Something else is going on. So what I do is I walk straight forward on two, but he moves his hand out to the side. So then, I follow that as I step diagonally backwards on three. Now, because his arm is behind me, I don't really have any more space. So I'm actually gonna close my feet as he walks forward on four, hold, one. Now from here, I step back on two, Replace on three, and a dance of press action on four, hold one, transfer on the and. You can dance this next part in many ways. You actually have three options, as a kukaracha, as a back, and as a forward and swivel. For this purpose, I'm going to show you the back break. So I'm going to swivel slightly on my right foot to step back, replace, and walk forward outside partner to finish just like an olive oil. because we want to use the sliding door to show off how beautifully you can move your legs. So we go back break on two, replace on three, and then you're going to dance a swivel on your left foot so that your right foot comes out in front to dance this beautiful press walk. Now, as I described earlier, you have those three options of how to dance this, but we're dancing back break for now. I step on the forward foot, then swivel to dance back break on two, Replace the weight on three, a slight swivel to step forward on the left foot again on four, hold one. I hope you all found this video helpful. I hope you guys practice it a lot so you can use it at the next social dance. Remember that if you guys liked it, please subscribe. When you subscribe and if you can leave a comment for us to let us know what you liked about it and what you would like us to do for you next. If you have any questions about any of these or if you'd like us to go more in depth with any of these steps, 
we'd be more than happy to, but leave us a comment in the comment section so that we know what to provide for you all. Remember to subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. But wait a second, doesn't it say... <laughs> wait a second, doesn't it say to turn on step number four in the technique book? And then I change. Oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you friend? It's not working! We're definitely gonna have Alfie takes at the end of this. Doesn't it turn to the number four in the technique? What? I can't do it! <laughs>